Hi, I'm Dan Healy with Independence RV in Winter Garden, Florida. And today I'm here with Jeff Cordier, one of our master service technicians, and we're discussing a leak detection. So Jeff, how many years experience as a master technician? Dan, I've been uh, certified as a master technician for the last 19 years at Independence RV. I've uh, been working in and around the RV business for about 25 years now. Okay. Well, tell the uh, folks today what we're going to do in starting out on a leak detection uh, problem. What we're going to do, Dan, is uh, first of all, we're going to get up on the roof and do a physical inspection of the roof, uh, try to identify any gaps in the sealants, any tears in the roofing material, uh, anything that looks out of place and odd that may be causing any interior leaks uh, and damage to the inside of the coach. From that point, we're going to go inside the coach and uh, look at the ceilings, the walls, the floor, check for any water damage, uh, any leak stains, anything that may show up that can give us a clue as to where water may be intruding into the coach. Um, then we're going to set up our seal tech machine. Uh, the seal tech machine is a unit that pressurizes the inside of the coach so that we can get, then go outside of the coach, uh, spray a solution of water and soap onto any suspect areas and try to get them to bubble up and show us where the actual leak is occurring. Very good. Okay, let's get started. Now the vehicle today that we're going to be examining is a 2000 Fleetwood Pace Arrow. So let's go take a look at the roof and see what we find. Dan, the roof we're looking at today is a rubber roof, also known as Dicor. This is the first generation of uh, the rubber roof systems. And as you can see, this roof is, is kind of colored black. The reason for that is, is the top rubber layer, the white layer, is actually worn off this roof due to sun, weather, and deterioration. We're now inside the Pace Arrow. So Jeff, let's start with what you're going to be looking for first. Dan, uh, when we first come in the coach, we're usually looking along the uh, outside edge of the walls at the ceiling areas, looking for any type of stains, uh, damage to the interior ceiling panels, damage to the top of the wall surfaces. In the case of this coach, there is some brown and rust colored stains right here along the top edge of the walls. So we know that there has been a leak. Um, this is a carpeted ceiling where the stains uh, show up pretty easily. If it's a soft vinyl cover ceiling, we can push on the, uh, the ceiling itself and sometimes get some water to come out of it and, and tell where the water is coming that way. From that point, we move down to the cabinet area, and we'll open up all the cabinets, check along the top of the cabinets, uh, make sure the wood's all intact, it's not soft or water damaged. From there, we can move down the wall along the edge of the cabinets, down to the floor line, and we're looking for damage to the floor, carpeted areas. Uh, in the case of this coach, there is some damage showing up right along the edge of the cabinet and the edge of the floor line. Dan, as we continue our visual inspection of the inside of the coach, we come into the bathroom area. One of the first things we noticed is some mold areas up on top of the cabinet, some delamination of the cabinet surface itself, how the light fixture is rusted and discolored. And we can follow right down the wall, there's some bubbling of the roof surface of the wall and some definite stain areas on top of the sink and countertop area. Looks like we've got a pretty good leak here. We need to get up on the roof and see what's going on with this coach. Well, Jeff, here's an interesting uh, device that you utilize for leak detection. Why don't you explain uh, how this is utilized? Dan, one of the devices we use to help us find a leak in the coach is an air pressure machine. Uh, what this machine consists of is a, an adapter which attaches to the ceiling of the coach, a tube which runs down from that adapter down to the main power unit of the machine. What the machine does is pull air in through an open vent in the roof, pressurizing the inside of the coach. At that point we can go up on the roof of the coach, spray a soapy water solution around on any suspect areas. If there is a leak in that area, it will show up as a bubble. At that point we can take care of the problem, whether it's resealing or repair of the leak area and move on. Well now that we're on the roof, Jeff, where do we start? Dan, yeah, now that we've connected the pressurizer machine inside the coach, we're going to come on top of the roof and we're going to use a solution of water and soap, probably about 20 to 1. We're going to spray it around on all the areas of the coach, uh, especially hitting the, the areas around the vents, stand pipes, moldings, seams, things like that, just to try to find any leaks. Um, they're going to show up as, as bubbling because the pressure inside the coach is coming up through those cracks, making the soap bubble up. We'll spray our soap and water solution around the perimeter of this vent. If there are any leaks, they're going to show up as a bubble from the pressure on the inside of the coach. And as you can see, we have some bubbling right here. This indicates a leak. We'll have to take care of this problem later on. What we're going to do now is go around the balance of the roof, spraying all the vents, antennas, and standpipes. If we find any leaks, we'll fix them from there. In summary, there are a number of factors that may affect uh, leaks occurring in your motor home. You got the materials, the sealants, the UV exposure from the sun, whether the coach has been stored indoors or outdoors. Jeff, do you have some final thoughts for the folks? I do, Dan. Water intrusion into the coach can, can cause a lot of problems with the coach itself. 
There are interior molding problems, structural problems, the stain damage, not to mention the mold and mildew that may come from, from having a water leak inside your coach. It's important to keep up with the roof sealants and to have the roof sealants checked periodically on your coach. Right. So if you suspect that you've got a roof leak on your coach, please call the number down below with extension 3 and schedule your leak detection service here at Independence RV. Thank you so much for viewing, and Jeff, thank you for your time today. Thank you, Dan. To learn more about RV leak detection and other services, please call Independence RV at 866-371-5168 or visit our website at www.independencerv.com.